Okay. Today we'll be uh, showing you how to get a video clip and create a GIF animation from it. I'll try and be thorough, so this video will be very long. Okay, let's get started here. One way we will save time is by just saying you need to have two free software programs. Both are so, uh, free and free of uh, viruses at the same time. GIMP, which is uh, an image manipulation program that I have here in the background. And GOM. Okay. That's a video player. Alright. So you need to have both GIMP and GOM. I'm not going to bother showing you how to download those. But if you go to gimcore.blogspot.com, that's my blog, and you come down here to where there's websites, you can go to gimp.org and download GIMP from there. And you can also go to here and click on this. That'll open up a new tab for you. and you can get GOM from GOMLab.org or I guess COM. That was an org. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is have a video clip. Try and get the smallest one you can, I guess, but for me, this one's pretty long. I just want the punch scene at the end. So you download your video clip however you do it but if you're going off of YouTube one thing you can do is just go up here to the URL highlight YouTube and instead of having YouTube posted in there go V O O B Y S and then click enter And that will take you to this. Run. Okay. Just click on a version here. I'm going with version 4. I don't know what the difference is. Save as SFLV. So we know it's going to be an FLV. Okay. So I'll pause this while it's downloading. Okay. So we're back. It's done downloading. And you go to where it's located. Okay. So we have it right here. Now we'll just rename it. With a .flv at the end. Okay, so we'll call this, uh, I don't know, test clip or something. Oh, just test. Test.flv. Save. Okay. So now we need to open up Our GOM player. Okay. Open up the GOM player and take this test FLV we just did, and you can just drag and drop it into GOM. Okay. So we have this here now, and we will go up here in the upper left hand corner of the player click on that and go down to control panel click on control panel and that will open up this box right here okay don't know where I want to have this so I'm gonna find the spot 
Actually, I'll uh, open up Advanced Capture, and then click on Open Directory. Okay. So here we are. We're in our Open Directory. Take this to the part of the clip you want. Right there. That was a hit scene. I want the hit. Alright. So we're right there. Sorry about this. Okay, we'll stop it there. And now, we can close this. No, we'll keep this one open actually. And click on Capture. And then you'll see it show up over here. So now we're just going to click on Capture rapidly until we're done with what, how much of the clip we want to keep. Okay, I wanted that punch scene. Maybe I'll take a few more clips of that. Okay, we'll end it there. So we can click on close. Let's see, I think we can close everything up. Close our control panel. Okay. I want these as a list. Okay. I'm also going to change this and highlight them all and I'm gonna do a right click and I'll do a rename we'll go with test clip and we'll leave it at that. We'll just call it a test clip. But what it'll do is it'll number them all. It'll number each one of these with the correct sequence number. Now we go to a GIMP and close our GOM player. Now we go to GIMP and have our capture here. And once again we're gonna Take all of these. So we'll select all of them. Oh, one thing we need look at the dimension there. Okay, see where it says dimensions in that box? It says 320 by 240. Okay, so we're going to go up on our GIMP, we're going to open up a new file. and 320 by what was it 240 I'll just double check that yes and we will click OK Okay. So we'll take these. We have them all highlighted. Do a left click. And you can just drag them right over 
into the layers. And it'll start loading them all in there for you. But they'll most likely be out of order to a degree. Yes, they are. Okay. We can close our uh, file there. Now, as you can see, this here is test clip in its frame number eight. And our last frame is right here in the beginning, right before the beginning. We can go here where it says background and delete that. So we want to put these in order. We don't want them out of order. Okay. So the easiest way to get these in order is to take and click on the clip here at the bottom and then have it go to the top. So we want frame 8 to come up here before frame 9. And other times it might be the other way around. Frame 8 might be up here and frame 9 might be at the bottom so we would want to take them down. So whichever way is going to be the fastest since we only have 8 frames at the bottom it's going to be faster to take them from the bottom to the top. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go into edit preferences okay from here go into interface 